Shalom, it's David Benkoff, the Broadway Maven. You'll be shocked at how much The Wizard of Oz and Star Wars A New Hope have in common. In fact, by the end of this video, you'll know dozens of ways Star Wars, consciously or unconsciously, ripped off The Wizard of Oz. It's well known that The Wizard of Oz and Star Wars are both versions of the hero myth and quest literature, but the parallels go much further. Let's start by talking about the characters. Dorothy and Luke are both young dreamers who live on family farms with their aunt and uncle. They each want to leave and have an adventure in the sky. Before the quest, our heroes reach out to the enigmatic outsiders, Professor Marvel and Obi-Wan Kenobi, for guidance. Each movie has a sidekick who cannot speak, and their names, Toto, 2-2, and R2-D2, are similar. The Tin Woodsman and C-3PO are both men made out of metal with fussy personalities who receive oil in their joints. Both the Cowardly Lion and Chewbacca are large hairy beasts who nonetheless walk upright. Each show's villain, the Wicked Witch and Darth Vader, dresses head to toe in black. Each has a scary voice, magical powers, and an army of henchmen. But beyond the characters, there are at least five important plot points in the two movies that seem too similar to be coincidental. Early in both films, little people play an important role, whether the Munchkins or the Jawas. Hologram-like apparitions play key roles in the plot, including one of the wizard and one of Princess Leia. The deaths of the Wicked Witch and Obi-Wan Kenobi are similar, as they disappear, leaving only their robes. At one point in each film, the heroes disguise themselves as guards and stormtroopers to sneak into the villain's lair. Finally, there's an award ceremony of sorts at the end of each film. Now, George Lucas has denied basing his film on The Wizard of Oz, but there are so many specific parallels between the two films that that seems surprising. Now, perhaps Lucas, like most people of his generation, grew up watching The Wizard of Oz on television every year, and he was maybe unaware that he was absorbing so much of what makes that film great. Here's another video I think you'll like. 